What's up, everybody? Red with Blue. I got Paul over here, straight from Miami, Florida. We're out yeah. here in uh, Desert Bowl of the Mountains. Beautiful area to ride in, by the way. Very new rider friendly. And I kind of wanted to talk about the KLX 250 and see what pop out of it as a very first like dirt bike. He's never owned a dirt bike, never ridden a mountain bike. Well, since his childhood, I think, right? Was that your first time? Today was my first time on an actual dirt bike. What about mountain? What about mountain bike? Oh, mountain bike, yeah, but yeah, that was yeah, exactly. No, more recent than that, like high school probably. Yeah. So his last time riding a mountain bike was actually, uh, you said high school, right? Yep. High school, two wheels. Here's your KLX 250. Why well, it's a great like starter beginner bike. And uh, how did the like you know the throttle? How did the throttle response feel for you and everything? Like yeah, it was, was it smooth? It was smooth. Know? First um, time riding a dirt bike ever. Like how was it kind of yeah. scary on the throttle, or the throttle was like very predictable? No, I mean, um, I guess once you got out first gear, that's when you really felt the power. But like. I guess just me being my first time riding a dirt bike, I had to learn how to, you know, clutch out of first, you know? Yep, essentially. What do you say you will need, like, if it would have been a, a lot more power or a bit more powerful than what you're riding today, would you would you have uh, been a little bit more intimidated or that was, would you say that's like the perfect amount of power for a new rider? Yeah, if I think the the power on this bike was perfect enough for like for especially for me my for being my first time. Yeah, if I would have gotten something more powerful, yeah, definitely I would have been more intimidated and probably not rode as good as I did today. So it's definitely. I mean, we saw some of those highway speeds. You're going like 40, <laughs> 50 miles an hour. I was going pretty fast. Yeah, <laughs> and that was because of your you were comfortable with the throttle yeah. already. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Well, there you guys have it. There's the KLX 250. No, that's like the ultimate test for somebody who's never ridden a, a dirt bike and last time ridden two wheels was actually in high school. So. What's going on everybody? Riding with Will. I got my friend Paul over here on the KLX 250 out in the desert bowls of Colorado and uh, this is honestly one of the best places um, to take a brand new rider because the road is completely straight tiny bit of rocks but not very often it's just straight and very wide as wide as a truck so this is Paul he wanted to give dirt biking a shot and I thought perfect what other bike better than the KLX 250 for the job it maybe took me a good 20 minutes to teach Paul how to use the clutch and throttle. And clearly, by the look of this, of this video, he has not been on two wheels for quite some time, and yet alone on a motorized machine with two wheels. And right here is a perfect example why the KLX 250 is a perfect starter bike. I mean, depending on the height and, and your strength, of course, if you can pick up the bike, if you drop it. Sure, we can maybe start someone off on something lighter and smaller like the CRF 120, but realistically, if you're not a child or a teen, how quickly would you grow into this bike? A TTR 230? It does have a little bit more of a punch and power comes on just a little bit stronger and quicker. But then again, once you get comfortable, you always have trail hopping as an option and despite its weight, it's honestly a very capable machine. While the TTR 230 can't really get it plated and if you live in a state where you can plate the bike, it's a little bit of a hassle, especially if you get a KLX 250 for almost the same price. This is literally her, his first time on a dirt bike and yet alone he doesn't even mountain bike as well. So I kind of wanted to make this video is a KLX 250 ideal for a new rider? Now we've been out here maybe an hour getting him to ride. He's never ridden a motorcycle. He's never ridden a, I mean, he's ridden mountain bikes in the past, not even mountain bikes. He just, you know, bicycles in the, in the, in the neighborhood growing up when he was a kid. Yeah, he's already six second gear speed.
What's going on guys? Ride with Will. I'm with my friend Paul over here. This is the second time riding. We're out in Terrial Reservoir. A little bit more challenging, a little bit more technical because it's not as straight. Definitely muddy and snowy and icy. And kind of want to ask Paul a few questions about the uh, KLX 250. Um, again, this is his first time on two wheels besides mountain, not even mountain biking, just riding around the neighborhood with a bike, you know. N no experience off-road or anything and last time was high school right around high school time how do you like the klx 250 as far as power wise for like these trails and stuff um for what it is i think it's good i don't need anything more powerful so i mean i like the the, the power level is fine enough so like you know i'm not tempted to go faster and then uh we did take it on the street for a little bit oh yeah uh so that was actually your first time on a motorcycle on the street yes yeah, so how was the power on that for trail hopping? We ended up trail hopping, and my thing is plated, by the way, and so is his. Was the power good on the street, yeah, too? once we got it, was it on the highway? It was so much smoother. I was able, I think I actually got it up to, like, fifth gear. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to pass you kind of thing, you know? Yeah. But, like, still. Um, still plenty of power. You felt like it was plenty of speed for tra trail riding over here, uh, yeah. for trail hopping. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter what terrain. I mean, it does the job. What do you feel? It was, like, too underpowered? No, I don't think so. Not at all? No. Well, maybe, I mean, I don't, probably don't know because, you know, it's only my second day out here. Yeah, exactly. Any more power, would you say you would have been more intimidated or probably not even a road at all? Yeah, I think I would have come out the second day if I, if you told me to drive one of uh, the so, more powerful bikes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, probably like a WR250R for like, what about the seat height? Because the, let's say like the, the WR250R has a higher seat height than that bike that you have. Well, this one, this one's pretty high for me, I think pretty high i'm like on my tippy toes right now you know? <laughs> like so yeah, imagine like, if the seat was a little higher would you say it would be like new rider friendly if the seat was higher on that one i think the lower lower will be better yeah i think so. for new rider friendly yeah yeah <laughs> easier to get on easier to get off sweet yeah all right well there you go that's uh that's uh today's trail ride out in Terrier and the desert bow and uh hopefully you guys enjoy the footage see you guys later